what is the value of n in this equation? 27 raised to the fifth power plus 84 raised to the fifth power plus 110 raised to the fifth power plus 133 raised to the fifth power equals n raised to the fifth power. Pause the video right now and see if you can answer this question. And of course, if you're done, put your answer in the comment section down below. Now, let's see if you got the correct answer. Alright, so given this huge number, 27 raised to the fifth power plus 84 raised to the fifth power plus 110 raised to the fifth power plus 133 raised to the fifth power equals n raised to the fifth power, then our goal is to find the value of n. Alright, so our approach to this question is by using inequality. So how it's done? Here it is. First, we are not using these numbers 27, 84, 110, 133 raised to the fifth power. But we will use 26 raised to the fifth power plus 78 raised to the fifth power plus 104 raised to the fifth power plus 130 raised to the fifth power. Of course, the question is what is this number or what is the relation of this number to our n? Now, we will see later on. But I choose 78, 104, 130 because 78 is 26 times 3 and 26 times 4 is 104 and 26 times 5 is 130. So definitely those numbers is less than 84, 104 is less than 110, 130 is less than 133. Therefore, if we add those numbers, the result is definitely less than n raised to the fifth power, of course. Now, what we're going to do is to use another numbers, and let's use 28 raised to the fifth power plus 84 raised to the fifth power plus 112 raised to the fifth power plus 140 raised to the fifth number. Those numbers is definitely greater than the original number 110, 133, and 27. Now, again, why we choose 84, 112, 140, and 28? Because 84 is 3 times 28, 112 is 4 times 28, and 140 is 5 times 28. And definitely, if we add those numbers, this is greater than n raised to the fifth power. Now, what we're going to do, since we know 26 raised to the fifth power is 1 times 26, for sure. So we can factor out 26 raised to the fifth power on those numbers. If we do that, we have 26 raised to the fifth power multiplied by 1 raised to the fifth power, or just 1, plus 3 raised to the fifth power, plus 4 raised to the fifth power, plus 5 raised to the fifth power. All right? So if you factor out 26 raised to the fifth power in these four terms, four numbers. Also, we can do this in the bottom four. If we factor out 28 raised to the fifth power, we have something like 28 raised to the fifth power multiplied by 1 raised to the fifth power plus 3 raised to the fifth power plus 4 raised to the fifth power plus 5 raised to the fifth power. So we can replace these numbers as 26 raised to the fifth power multiplied by 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 raised to the fifth power. And also, these numbers, we can replace this with 28 raised to the fifth power multiplied by 1 raised to the fifth power plus 3 raised to the fifth power plus 4 raised to the fifth power plus 5 raised to the fifth power. Now, what we're going to do is to set aside this result. Now, this tells us that n raised to the fifth power is greater than this expression, these numbers, and less than these numbers on the right-hand side. And if we get the pip root on both sides, the inequality stays the same. So if we get the pip root of all those numbers, we have n is greater than 26 times pip root of these numbers and less than to 28 multiplied by the pip root of these numbers. And now, what we're going to do is to evaluate this. And we will use this table to make this calculation more faster. So take note in this table, it shows that when 1 raised to the pip power, the answer is 1. 2 raised to the pip power, the answer is 32. 3 raised to the pip power, the answer is 243, and so on and so forth. So we will use the table number 5. Alright, so 1 raised to the pip power is 1. 
3 raised to the fifth power is 243. And 4 raised to the fifth power is 1024. 5 raised to the fifth power is 3125. If we add those numbers up, we have the sum of 4393. So we can replace this, those numbers inside the pip root with 4393. Now let's focus on this result. Now this number, 4,393, is between 3,125 and 7,776, meaning the approximate value of the pip root of 4,393 is about 5 point something. Or simply, this is just 5.352, the approximate value of the pip root of 4,393. Now, if we multiply 26 to 5.352, we get a value of 139.15. And if we multiply 28 to 5.352, we get 149.86. Now, since n is an integer for sure, a whole number, so we can say that n is between 139 and 150. So n is greater than 139 but less than 150. So we have n can be 140, 141, up to 149. So there's a lot of values for the value of n. So which one of them is correct? Now we will use now the original equation. 25 is the power of 5 plus 84 is the power of 5 plus 110 is the power of 5 plus 133 is the power of 5. Now we will use the shortcut or the pattern for the powers of 5. Now, what is the pattern? 1 raised to the power of 5 ends with 1. 2 raised to the power of 5. Notice, the last digit is 2. 3 raised to the fifth power, the last digit is 3. 4 raised to the fifth power, the last digit is 4. 5 raised to the fifth power, the last digit is 5, and so on, and so forth. So, 8 raised to the power the last digit is 8. Therefore, if we expand 27 raised to the p power, the ending or the last digit is just 7 for sure. And 84 raised to the p power, the last digit or the unit's digit is 4. The last digit of 110 raised to the p power is 0 and the last digit of 133 raised to the p power is 3. Now the question what is the last digit of n raised to the fifth power or their equivalent? Of course, the sum of the last digit of these four numbers, which is 7 plus 4 plus 0 plus 3, which is 7 plus 3 is 10, so n's in 0 plus 4, 14. So the last digit of n raised to the fifth power is definitely equal to 4. Now, there's only one value of n that ends in 4. Because n can be 140, 141, 142, 143, 144, up to 149. And the only value of n that ends in 4 is 144. Therefore, n equals 144. And this is our answer to this question. Therefore, 27 raised to the p power plus 84 raised to the p power plus 110 raised to the p power plus 133 raised to the p power equals 144 raised to the p power. And as always, we are done.